Well, the drone thing, uh, everyone seemed concerned about especially out here in New Jersey. Are they, uh, you know, government craft? Is it UFOs? What's causing them? Uh, here, here's the thing. That's up there, and I'm down here, right? So as long as they stay up there and don't come down here, I think we're not going to have a problem, right? It, it, I think it's if they start, you know, coming down is where we need to start getting involved. But for most people, I don't I don't think they're bothering, uh, you know, anybody. Steve Weiner here from GetRebix.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up report-only reporting for conditional access policy. Report only reporting. I think I said that right. Oh, well, that's a whole different story. If it's, you know, they come down here, if it's UFOs, if it's full Independence Day, then, uh, you know, then it's go time. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so conditional access, obviously very important. We talked about it a lot last year, and if there's anything we're going to do to start things off right in 2025, it's make sure we have conditional access policy. But a big mistake I see folks make is set something up and turn it on, right? So for example, uh, let's say we have these uh, block all unmanaged devices, right? Well, it sounds good in theory right this is something where you know we have a target resource of office 365 we have uh, all users uh, maybe we're excluding a certain group and uh you know our condition is to where's the condition here oh here we go block access we're blocking access to anything not managed now while that sounds good in theory and from a security perspective it's what we want but the other half of security is user impact. You know, we can't do something that halts business for two reasons. One is it's business. You can't halt it and stop it and people flip out and lose money. But the second thing is um, a lot of times what will happen is stakeholders will look at the business impact and take that panic or, you know, take the negative output of that and say, no, this will never work. We can't have it. And then they will, you know, throw security by the wayside uh, because they don't want that bad experience. And then it becomes harder for endpoint and security teams to reintroduce these concepts back in. So we don't want to give it a bad taste. We want to do it the right way. And the, the best way to test your policy before you roll it out to small groups is to put it in reporting mode. So for report only, I'm going to turn that on and hit save. So this is not going to affect anyone's work or productivity. This is simply just going to let me know uh, every time someone's flagged for that. But here's the question. How can we see this? So let's go to insights and reporting. So notice when I click here, it says log analytics integration not available. Uh, not currently enabled to send logs to log analytics. So what do we have to do here to set this up? Well, let's click on the link. Integrate Microsoft Entry. Okay, so we need a subscription. Uh, we do need an Azure subscription. So you can always get that free trial if you don't have one. Um, you need the Entry ID P1, which we have minimum. Security Administrator, we're Global Admin, and we need a Log Analytics Workspace. So let's start there. So to get started, you're going to need a Log Analytics Workspace. So if you just start searching for Log, it should come up. Um, I have a few here, but let's go ahead and make a new one and we'll call it, um, conditional access. I can't have spaces, conditional access logs. Now you want to make sure you select the subscription, uh, cause you're going to need one, even though there's really no cost associated with this. If you're not retaining the data, um, you pick a resource group. Um, I have several. Uh, I think I have one for logs, but you know what? I'm just going to, let's see, do I have one? All right, let's make a new one. So let's create a new resource group and call it RSG Intune Logs. Okay, and let's go ahead and create the workspace. All right, that'll take a few moments to deploy. Okay, the deployment's complete. You can go to the resource, there's not really much there. All right, so we head over to entra.microsoft.com because here's the thing, conditional access, even though you can see it in Intune and you can you know look at it and manage it, uh, it's an entra thing, right? So it's essentially identity logging, which is, you know, as opposed to devices. So um, you can click show more if you don't see monitoring and health, but that's what we're looking for, monitoring and health and diagnostic settings. Um, so, 
what we're going to do is if you don't already have one here, um, you know, you're just going to go add diagnostic setting. Most likely it's going to be your first one. So we're going to call this conditional. Uh, let's call it conditional access logs. So you want to make sure you have audit logs enabled. You're also going to want all the sign in logs. So sign in, non interactive service principal and manage identity. And our action is going to be send it to log analytics workspace. So it should find your subscription and show you everything you have. I'm going to choose our new one, the Intune logs, right? And you just go ahead and save that policy. Okay. So once that's there and we go back to insights and reporting, now we're going to see something a little bit different. So now we actually have results. So just a quick, just, just to give you a quick rundown of everything, it's uh, giving me a high level overview of all my sign-ins. Uh, the default view is 24 hours, but let's get some more data and let's go back 60 days. Okay. So you can see I have information on the device state. So how many devices are coming in unmanaged, Azure AD join versus registered by platform. I can see the client app that is doing that reaching, but I can also see the conditional access status here. So you can see we have not applied. We have some failures here. So if you just want to monitor a policy that is, where are my filters? A report only policy. So let's go ahead, um, select individual report only policy, block all unmanaged devices. So in the last 60 days, nine users would be impacted by this. Now it's not applied because it's in report only, but this will give you a good idea of the impact. This means I have nine users who would be flagged for this. And you can see it kind of makes sense because there's uh, eight unmanaged devices and apparently there's an out of compliant device because I'm deeming managed by compliance. So makes a lot of sense when you look at it this way. Conditional access is very powerful. While it seems like a feature of Intune or Intune, it's actually in the scope of all the, the Microsoft Zero Trust framework, it's the core policy engine. More about that in another video. But the point is it, it's, it's powerful and you need it because it can mitigate most threats if set up correctly. But if we rush it or we don't implement it properly, it can be very detrimental causing a lot of problems in your organization and we don't want problems. So make sure you do these policies in a report only mode. You set up your workspace so you can look at it. And then when you do deploy it, roll it out in groups so that you're you know mitigating any potential negative impact. We'll be seeing you.